After talking to your salespeople about which sales order movements are criticals, you need to look the other way to see if it's possible to move the critical purchase supplies based on those delayed sales orders to figure out if you can do anything. So normally we would experience that you should find the critical non-fulfilled demand on the supplies first, since your production is often more flexible. You might have a production with high load on the capacity, but in real life that's a puzzle that is in-house to fix and therefore it's often more urgent if you lack purchase supplies that is not available on stock. So therefore we would suggest that you look into the critical purchase supply first. Let's see how it could work. If I found sales orders while moving demand dates that are critical and the delay is quite long and I want to investigate the purchase orders, I could navigate into the show hierarchy function and filter on my purchase items. So if I'm looking here at the production orders, those are all production orders or other supply orders. And if I'm filtering where the replenishment system on the component is purchased items, I could scroll right and see the move production date delays. So some of those line has delays that are quite longer than the other lines. And those are the ones that have the highest impact on the movements. Therefore, I could look at those items. And actually the item 1310 is representing three of the lines, meaning it's actually three different items. If I could do something better with those items, changing the due date or flying the items in stock, uh, maybe I could avoid postponing the sales order by quite a lot. So therefore I should contact those vendors first to see if it's possible to do anything to get those items in stock earlier.